uh, some people can dabble around for years and then it catches them. Mm. It's, and, and they could, yes. maybe they're fooling themselves, maybe they're not. But there is, there is a different ratio for different yeah. people. Yeah. I know people that when they come off heroin, they become alcoholics. When they, mm. when they go from alcoholics, they go on to another yeah. drug. Some dependency. I know people that use Narcotics Anonymous as a substitute mm. for, you know, and they become almost like yeah. uh, guru freaks where they, they become so totally immersed mm. in, in, in Narcotics Anonymous or AA mm. that they become equally as warped as when they were with the drug. Yeah. As far as as far as uh, the the laws that they're trying to bring in are concerned, it will be easier because the rich Iranian trying to get his money out out of Iran, mm. you know, is going to be the last person going near the heroin. Mm. So the person that's going to be selling the heroin is going to be somebody who is going to be an addict. So all of a sudden the law is at fault with itself because it's there to get the pusher, yeah. but the pusher, if the pusher is an addict and the law is there to help the addict, if seven million has been given mm. to try and help the addict. Right. You know, I, I'm all for the, the genuine pusher, that, the pusher that's just making clear profit and not touching it, you know, himself or herself, you know, they deserve life because they don't realize what they're doing. But the people that are actually doing it, where they actually feel they're doing people a favor rather than see them go through pain. And, and because they're an addict themselves, yeah. you know, they're the people that are easier to catch. And they're the people that will get the publicity, you know, and it'll look like the, the, it's all been mm. taken care so of. So let me, uh, let me uh, briefly interrupt.